Hey guys, welcome whoa, back to my channel. If you're new here, then you are in for a treat. If you're not new, then you will notice that I'm not in my beauty room, and that's because this is where the magic actually happens. By magic, I mean makeup. So, if you didn't know, it's your own Renee, and tonight, I thought that I would be brave, and I'm not actually wearing any makeup right now. I might have on a little bit of lip gloss from earlier, but I thought that I would do a nighttime skincare routine. And even though I'm not wearing makeup, we're just gonna like pretend that I just had makeup on and washed my face for the video's sake. So if you want to see more of me without makeup and more of what I put on my skin that hopefully will eventually make it look better, I do have oily combo skin that can be a little finicky. I had really, really, really bad acne as a teenager. We're talking like cystic. I would have a fit and be sick and not want to go to school because that's how just embarrassing it was for me. And um, then I got older and went to the dermatologist. It went away and then I'm in my 30s and the past few years it decided, hey, guess what? We miss being on your face. We're gonna come back and just show you what you've been missing. And I have not been missing it and I didn't ask for it. So I'm a little ungrateful for that. So anyways, I'm sweating, it's hot in here, so I thought that that would be a good time to just turn on the camera and splash water on my face, and um, yeah, so if you didn't get the memo, we are in my bathroom, and this is where I actually do my makeup. I, let me demonstrate, because I am wearing pants, Let's see if I can do this with <laughs> on camera. So I actually sit up on the sink, or not on the sink, but on the counter, like that, but obviously facing the mirror, and I have my feet in the sink while I do my makeup. Don't worry, I washed the foot residue on the sink. I actually had to clean the wall a little too, because I'm a, I'm a messy, messy girl, and uh, so usually, I have makeup on, and first, I really like the Neutrogena makeup wipes the best, but this is what I have right now, the MAC wipes. And so if I'm wearing makeup, I always use a makeup remover wipe first just to get off like any you know, your first step to getting clean skin. And I used to be one of those girls that thought, you know what, I'm just gonna use a makeup wipe and take my makeup off and then go to bed. Yeah, don't do that. Don't, don't be like the five girlfriends five years ago. So we'll, we'll just pretend that I had makeup on and I just removed it with the wipe. And I alternate between these two. I have a bigger one, but it just doesn't fit in this space. The Philosophy Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash. If I'm wearing a full face, I usually do this. And then I use this Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip Clay cleanser and this is really good for just deep cleaning your pores kind of like a you know like a mask would but if you don't want to mask so I'm I'm 
sure that you guys know how to um, take your fingers and rub them on your face, but in case you don't, here's how you do that. And since we usually blend our makeup down our necks, always good to include the neck. Oh, Water feels so good. I live in a three story townhome, so the bedrooms are up on the top floor here, and it gets hot up in there. See, you can tell. I'm not wearing, I have like a tiny bit of powder on. But, yeah. Usually I use warm water, but I felt like actually getting an unsweaty, not sweatier. I don't like to, you know, scrub my face with the washcloth and I always use these ones that are more, I don't know guys, I mean obviously they're cotton, but they're, they're softer than like a bath towel, does that make any sense? Okay, anyways, moving on. If I'm wearing makeup, I always, even after I wash my face, I go in with this oil control toner by Alay Hendrickson. I just feel like even after you use a makeup wipe, you wash your face, and then when you use this, and I always use it with these little guys, the Swispers. Yeah, that's what they're called. And I just love these for eye makeup remover wipes and for toning wipes. So I don't need to use that tonight. And then I have two serums that I love. The Drunk Elephant, as you guys know, this is not a cheap brand. Neither is Algenis. But I feel like skincare is something that you should splurge on. And I got started with good skincare when I was younger, and I believe that that is partial reasoning as to why my skin and myself looks younger than what you would probably guess my age is. So anyways, um, I don't know why I shook the serum. You don't need to do that. You don't need very much Serum. In fact, that was like two little pumps and it was too much. So with time, I can tell you guys that this Drunk Elephant TLC one has made my acne, scarring, and my just slight like sunspots and age spots, you know, just spots. Like I'm a leopard, but kind of. It has um, helped them get a little lighter with time. I mean, it does, nothing happens immediately. It's not like there's this miracle skincare cream, even if you paid $500. I don't think. I mean, I have never paid that much for anything. Well, for some things, but not anything on my skin. So after that guy, it depends on if I did a mask, what sort of hydration that I like. And also, I will show you guys really quick the eye cream serums that I like. And I'm a little extra when it comes to the eyes because I am. So this Paracone MD one is actually an eyelid serum. So, I mean, obviously, because it's safe for your lid, it's safe for under your eyes too, but, and you can also use this as a 
primer. I always use this and then a primer and eyeshadow. Yeah, and I stretch. So this one does really actual smoothing. Like not, not like 20 year old skin smoothing, but you can tell a difference after a while. And then this Dr. Dennis Gross uh, triple correction eye serum is what I'm using right now. You can tell it's old and I'm running low and it's expensive. So I should have picked it up during the sale. Like this is how there's just not enough in there to pump anymore. But um, yeah. So I like to go all the way around and just pat Tapping, petting, whatever, you know, pat, pat. So we got our eyes, and then, and then, oh man, where is it? Oh, shit. This guy, I love the Olay Hendrickson Transformation night transformation gel. But I am actually trying to use up the rest of this Coors Black Pine. It's so good. But it's just a, a, a night cream. And it's very hydrating. And I mean, it doesn't, nothing is gonna make me look 20. Uh, it's just not gonna happen. But, we can try to, you know, just go look the best we can for the age that we are, whatever age that may be. Ladies don't tell, and men aren't supposed to ask, right? So, there you have it, folks. Now my face is red, and I'm still sweating, and I want to stick my face back under the sink, but I won't. I can't. Well, I mean, I could, but I won't. So, just thought I'd pop on here really quick, show you this, and show you how I get down in the bathroom. That sounded kind of bad, but anyways, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Seattle MUA Renee. I will leave a link below check out my last video because it's a giveaway and you're not going to want to miss out and you're going to want to stay tuned in because I do them every month. That's right. Every month. So I hope you guys have a good night, sleep well, and I love you.